Gannon with Joel from Farm and Food. Hi Joel, thank you very much for having us here on your farm today. You're Obviously you are a farmer by trade, but can you tell us a wee bit more about how you got the inspiration from Farm and Food? Yeah, well it all started back in uh, 2013. Um, I approached William Farmer at the Bay Tree and mm -hmm. asked him if I could rear an animal on my farm and they could use it in the restaurant mm -hmm. and we worked together to create an event called Meet Marais which is basically where we followed a cow which we called Marais um, through each yeah. of the stages of the supply chain and tried to optimise it as best as possible. And we used the cuts from the whole animal to have a, a, a seven course meal. It proved really popular so we did seven more of them, this time using native breeds, so Irish moiled beef, Gloucestershire yeah. roast buck pork, um, south down lamb, that sort of thing. And we did a barbecue as well which proved to be the most popular and we got asked to do more and more of those. And that really sort of point, took the direction of the business. Um, where it is now, where we're doing barbecue catering okay. um, for the likes of weddings and birthdays and, and doing um, street food and, and fairs and that sort of thing. Very good. So what's a typical um, day as a dedicated farm and food farmer? Um, well, it's difficult to, uh, to find a, a typical day, I would say. I mean, it, from a farm point of view, it starts off looking after the animals and making sure they're all right and healthy and well and at uh, this time of year, newborns to consider. From a farm and food point of view, um, dealing with clients, um, lots of email, just whatever comes our way, we have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, so you mentioned earlier about the catering and the street food side of your business. I hear you've got something very exciting coming up um, in the form of a meat hamper. Can you tell us a bit more about that, Joel? Well, um, the rare breed uh, side of things is something that's really of interest to me. Um, and we need to have good routes to market for rare breeds because they don't compete with the commercial animals in terms of size, but they do in terms of flavour. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really, really good um, tasty meat that's been slow grown. And so it's full of flavour, full of marbling, um, and really um, you know, top notch in terms of taste. So coming up um, at the end of June, we have a, a variety of meat boxes. One will be from Irish Moiled Beef, and the other will be from Dorset Horn Lamb. Um, so we have a couple of the Irish mild. We have one a box geared toward the family and we have a, a box geared towards more a share box. And um, because I work closely with um, with William who owns the tree, then we've got good um, a, you know, expertise on putting together recipe cards and different yes. rubs and sauces and stuff which will be included in the hampers. Yeah, so people um, will know how to use the will know use the product. So. Yeah, exactly. Good. Um, it's very clear that you're passionate about farming, Joel. And um, what exactly does being a food producer in Northern Ireland mean to you? Well, I think because Northern Ireland is a small country, um, it's difficult for us to compete in a mass production scale. So I think Northern Ireland is all about small artisan producers mm -hmm. just offering quality premium produce. Thank you very much to, for having us on the farm today, Joel. Um, it's been fantastic to learn more about farm and food. Um, I'm very excited to get my very first um, meat box when they come out. Brilliant. Brilliant, thank you. Thank you.